And here we have our latest walking stick. Beautiful piece of oak, stained a nice dark. Did a little dot pattern, nice tapered handle. We did our uh, now almost famous basket weave or, Celt or Celtic weave with more dot patterns on the inside to make it stand out. Tapering down to a little rubber foot. It's oak, so a little tough to uh, to carve, chipped a bit, uh, but it came out really well. The, the weight isn't too bad. I mean, the whole thing is, uh, I think the widest is a inch and a, maybe inch and a, I wouldn't even say an inch and a half. The handle obviously down to about an inch. Stick around, see how it was made, and uh, hope you enjoy the video. This one came out really nice and uh, really happy how that stain, oak stains beautifully. And uh, let me know what you think. Hey, good evening everyone. What we have here is the beginning of the next walking stick. This is inch and a half diameter, beautiful oak. Uh, nice hardwood. This is going to be uh, very sturdy. Uh, slightly smaller diameter than the, the last uh, basket weave that we were doing, but got commissioned for another one. So laid out the, the lines for it. We got eight inches of handle, a little bit of a space in between. The basket weave is going to go, uh, for this one it's going to be 16 inches, uh, and then we're going to taper it down. So we already marked out center of it. Um, We'll use that later when we taper this all down to uh, the small foot, probably, I don't know, 7 8 diameter it'll taper all down to. A um, little bit heavier, but super straight. Uh, this is made out of two uh, 1x2s uh, that I laminated together with uh, waterproof glue and uh, made it into the round. Just to keep things straight, it certainly helps when you're laying out the, the basket weave pattern to keep, to have this part as straight as possible, really helps laying out the lines. And that's what we're going to do next. So, stick around. So, what we decided to do is, um, because it's only an inch and a half in diameter, it's still a little big for a hand. We're going to have to uh, carve this down, get it down to maybe over an inch only, so about a quarter inch on either side. The basket weave is going to stay here, but we're going to divide it into six this time. Um, the last few times we've had slightly bigger diameters, one and three quarters, almost two inches, and uh, you could divide it into eight pretty easy. So the regular paper technique of just folding the paper only works if you're doing multiples of two, four, eight, or sixteen. So here what we have to do is, same thing, take a piece of paper, cut it to the right diameter, all the way around. Of course we draw a, uh, a starting line. That's your reference line that everything's going to be based on. Fold it in half, that way you get the exact halfway. And then there we're just going to have to do a little bit of measuring measurements. Um, take that half, divide it into three. In my case, um, working in metric, it came out to actually 60 60 and, a, and I think 60 and a third or so uh, millimeters. So it worked out to about 20 millimeters. Um, that's about three quarters of an inch um, for if you're using Imperial. I think three quarters of an inch is 19 millimeters. If I know, yeah, that's about right. So a little over three quarters. Uh, certainly better if you work in metric. Everything's uh, multiples of 10. So what we're going to do is uh, tape this down and use these marks that you see here uh, to mark out the six lines. So I'm going to do that and uh, we'll be right back.
a little a little recap here of what I'm doing. First off is uh, just dropping in about a quarter inch with a Forstner bit. And I do that here on the drill press. I made myself a little centering jig. It sits there, the post, and centers right on the Forstner bit. So once you set the depth for a quarter inch, you can go through and, uh, and make all the holes. So I do one row at a time, do the holes, chip it out, and carry on to the next one. That way it keeps a, uh, a consistent depth going. So at the base of the stick, marked out the circle of where we have to do, uh, where we have to taper down to to get to where we're going to put the rubber foot. So we're just going to taper down from right around there and taper it all down, have a nice transition.
Oh, I think we've wrapped up this one. Let me go over what we have. It's a nice little egg shape on top. Little dot pattern. Going around. Nice tapered handle section. Nice big section. About, uh, about an inch total diameter for the hand. Nice spot. Going down, we did the uh, dot pattern inside the Celtic weave. That came out well, even though the, the oak chips a lot, it was a little more difficult. A little harder wood, obviously, but worked out. Nice little pattern. Tapered down to the end. Uh, we're going to have a little rubber foot. Uh, regular one inch rubber foot go in the bottom. I have a hook there at the bottom uh, to hang it because what we're going to do is we're going to stain it. Uh, client wants this a dark color. So we're going to stain it with a Verithane uh, Jacko Beam. Uh, works out really well with oak. And uh, that's what we're going to do next. So let's get going. Yeah, that's coming out nice and dark. But you still see all the grain. This oak really uh, takes stain well. Hold on. There we go.